Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to run LLM locally in the Windows command prompt. But before that, let's take a look at LLM. LLM or large language models are advanced AI systems trained on vast amounts of data, enabling them to generate human-like responses and assist in various tasks like coding, content creation, and automation. The power of LLMs lies in their ability to understand context, generate coherent text, and adapt to different use cases, making them indispensable in AI-driven applications. Traditionally, running LLMs required cloud-based solutions, but with tools like Olama, users can now run LLMs locally on their own devices. Olama simplifies model deployment, offering privacy, low latency, and cost efficiency by eliminating the need for external service. This local execution empowers developers and businesses to integrate AI capabilities seamlessly without relying on the third-party cloud services. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills, and land your dream job, or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT Guwahati, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and also academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So, as discussed, to run any large language model locally, you will need the help of Olama. So, let's get started with one of the browsers and then navigate to Olama website and start downloading it. Now we are on Google, so let's just navigate to Olama. Firstly, you need to download, but before you can see, there are a lot of LLMs here, DeepSeek, P, Mistral, right? So you can see there are a lot of LLM options to download. Let's download Olama first. And here you have Mac, Linux, and Windows. So we are working on Windows. So let's go with Windows. You can see the download will start shortly. There you go, it started. So it's about 769 MP, so it might take a little bit of time. Let's wait so far. There you go. The setup has been successfully downloaded. Now we need to install it. We are now in download section. There you go. Start the application to start installing procedures. As simple as that, just click on install and agree to some agreements. So, uh, yeah, I think some other, okay, I think we have clicked on that setup file multiple times. So, multiple uh, installation procedures are going on. Don't worry, you can just cancel all the other ones slowly. There you go, the extraction process has been begun. It might take a couple of time. There you go. So whenever an extra Olama installation process is started, you just cancel it. This is happening because of a slight uh, lag in the PC, but don't worry about it. You can just cancel and the initial process will continue as it is. So the installation is close to be done. Now, we have a lot of variants of LLMs on Olama. You can go with R1, you can go with GPT, you can go with Llama and uh, different varieties of it, right? And there's also a link to Olama's GitHub file where you have all these models. And also all the same models are also available in Olama's official website as well. There you go. Now we are on the Olama's website. Let's close the command prompt. It's not now. All you need to do just add the command line there. So if, if you go into models, you have a lot of models there like DeepSeek, R1, Llama, Phi, right? And if you go to that particular, if let me expand it. Okay, it got a little more expanded than usual. Don't worry. So here you have 1.5B, 7B, 8B, 14B. So what are all these, right? 
Now let's go to the GitHub for a clearer picture. So here you have it. 7B, 671B, but for the same deep sea carbon. So what is it? And even the size, 4.7 GB and 400 GB, right? So B stands for parameters, billions of parameters, 7 billion parameters, 671 billion parameters, and accordingly, the size, right? So based on the space available in your system, choose your LLM. Since we have uh, constraints on space, you can go with the lower parameter version, like I'm going for the first one, which is 7B1. And you have a lot of other models as well. So to run this particular deep seek R1 with 7 billion parameters of size 4.7B, you just need to copy that single code here, which says Olama run deep seek R1, correct? So you just need to copy that, open the command prompt, and here you'll just paste that code and execute it. Let's expand the screen paste it here and now hit enter now the manifestation process right good name they're pulling the file basically but they have named it as pulling manifest nice and this might take a little while because we are doing it for the first time initially based on the size of the file you have chosen it might take a couple of hours or as well as a couple of days in few scenarios if you're going with the biggest one 400 gb version it might take a day or two basically it'll show you 24 hours but it'll take more than that sometimes but now we're going with the lower one which is about 7 billion parameters and 4 gb file so it might take a little bit time comparatively less to the previous one now let's kind of uh, wait for a while there you go it's close to being on 4.6 gb so far and 4.7 that's it a few other files should be running in the background. There you go. And shortly, we will be ready with the LLM, which is DeepSeq R1. Similarly, we'll also go ahead and try with other LLMs as well. First, let's begin with DeepSeq R1. Let's verify a few things. And shortly, we will be ready with DeepSeq. There you go. Writing manifest success. Now, we will be having the prompt ready. Yeah, there you go. Now you can just type in hi or you can also straight away go ahead with your queries. Now let's try a simple hi. There you go. When you run DeepSeek R1 on browser, you can see something called as thinking, right? So you can see that option here as well. When you write some query, it will go ahead into the think mode and it will give its thought process to you, to you, right? Now I want to go ahead with a query. I want to learn about let's say large language models now this might take a little while can you help me it's also good if you write it as can you teach me now it started its thinking process i guess we already did a previous version on neural networks based on that let's see what it throws out all right the user is asking if i can teach them about large language models yeah so it remembers the previous queries as well i already provided a general introduction to uh, llms in the previous version but anyways it also tries to deep dive and understand my intention that's the great thing that's exactly what it's thinking right now they are deep diving into this particular concept let's wait for a while before the thinking process is done and it comes up with an answer. There you go, that was its thinking process and also the end of think. So this is the uh, thought process which uh, DeepC Carbon went through and it also started to give me an answer. Of course, large language models or LLMs, it started to give me an answer. So to learn about LLMs, let's get started with some of the basic concepts. So it is starting with the very basics, what is an LLM and so far. It also gave me how do LLMs work, training models, and uh, key components of LLMs. It also gave the outputs on applications of LLMs, hyperparameters, limitations of LLMs, right? And it also gave a few more things, reproducibility and fine-tuning. If you'd like to deep dive into any specific aspect of LLMs, feel free to ask. There you go, that was it. And it also concluding some of the critical points in the end. That's great. Let me know how I can help you further. Now I'll just type by to end the prompt. And we can also try out some different LLMs from Olama. 
You can just type slash BYE to end this particular prompt. There you go. We are done. Now, let's navigate back to Olama. And since we already tried out with DeepSeek R1, let's choose another similar LLM, which is Mistral, with the same 7.1 billion parameters and 4.5 GB of file size. Now, we'll copy that code and run it over here, Olama run Mistral, so that we can begin the file or begin the pulling manifest or pull the file and load it into the local browser or local command prompt and uh, it will be ready for execution as well. So even this will take a little bit of time even though it is just as small as DeepSeek R1. Let's wait for a while. There you go, we're almost close to be done. 3.9, 4, 15 seconds more, 10 seconds more and almost done 4.1 GB and shortly everything will be under extraction process and Mistral will be ready for execution. Unlike the uh, neural networks or unlike the complicated questions like LLMs, let's ask Mistral a simple question which will be about um, solar system. So it is verifying a couple of things. There you go, we have a successful manifest done or the installation is successfully done. So let's type in this query that I had in mind. Hi, can you tell me about planetary systems? And there you go, it started with the thinking process and we'll give you the output shortly. There you go. Hello, I'd be happy to uh, share some information about the solar system. And it started to give me an output. So there you go, you can see it started off with Mercury. So it also considers the order. So you can see Mercury, Venus, Earth, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Okay, it is also mentioning about the satellite of Earth. It's good. As long as it is not considering Moon as a planet. Next, we have uh, Neptune, the farthest planet. Now, I want to know if it goes with Pluto or not, or what it has to say about Pluto. That would be the next important question. So far, we are not considering Pluto as a planet altogether. Let's see the learning of Mistral if it considers Pluto as a planet or not. Let's wait for a while. Now, there you go. The Pluto comes into picture, I guess. Yeah, the three dwarf are. There you go, the Pluto. Okay, it is considering it as a dwarf planet and originally considered the nine planet. Okay, it knows. That's good. There you go. I think it ended the solar system knowledge or information that it wanted to share with us. There are also many asteroids, comets, and uh, small solar system objects. If you want to know, you can. That's it. Now let's type in thanks. No, let's not. It will again go into the thing mode. Let's type it as by backslash by to end it. There you go. Now you can also do a couple of more things like uh, Olama list to understand all the listings of LLMs in your PC or local system. So far we have Mistral and DeepSea and if you type in Olama it will start the providing you all the options that you can do with the LLM in your or Olama in your PC to stop certain model to run a certain model or you can also check the list and you can also remove a certain model if you want further help you can also do that. So these are the couple of things that you can do with Olama in your local system. And that's how you can run different LLMs in your local system. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to run LLMs locally. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources like Ulama download link or the model links and any other assistance that you require from our end, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. 
Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.